Hi everyone and welcome. This video is a part of a series on using Dell Storage Center with OpenStack Cinder. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to configure OpenStack or DevStack to interact with Dell Storage Center via the Cinder module, thereby allowing OpenStack or DevStack to orchestrate and manage Dell Storage Center volumes. Let's get started. First, the prerequisites. This configuration requires an installation of the Dell Enterprise Manager Platform 2015 R01 or newer. This platform is supported on an installation of Windows Server 2012 R2. The Dell Storage Center Cinder driver is bundled and released with OpenStack Kilo, and you would need a functional installation of OpenStack or DevStack. Next, the control flow. The Dell Enterprise Manager platform is a necessary and central component of this working framework and operates to proxy Cinder API calls to Dell Storage Center. Finally, the configuration. A terminal session tool, PuTTY or similar is required. Some degree of familiarity with a Unix-based text editing tool, VI or similar. And 30 minutes of your time. Now onto the demo. I'll start with two PuTTY sessions in side-by-side -side windows. In the left window, I have a fresh DevStack installation as pulled from GitHub, presently in an unstacked state. While in the DevStack folder, I have started a VI editor session of the local.conf file and will append storage center schema to the end of this file. In an OpenStack environment, I would append the same schema to the end of the slash etsy slash cinder slash cinder.conf file instead. In the right window, I have a temp file open inside which I've outlined the schema required to configure Storage Center into DevStack. I'll walk through each of these lines. The volume backend name is Dell FC. The volume driver references the Storage Center library. SAN IP points to the IP address of the Dell Enterprise Manager installation. SAN port references the default port of the Dell Enterprise Manager installation. SAN login and SAN password store the credentials to log in to Dell Enterprise Manager. Dell SCSSN contains the serial number of the primary controller of the storage center array being referenced. Dell SC volume folder informs Cinder of the folder path where new volumes should be created. Dell SC server folder informs Cinder of the folder path where new server objects should be created. I'm going to copy this schema into the local.com file and save the file. I will then run the stack.sh command to stack up the devstack environment. In an OpenStack environment, I would accordingly restart the cinder-api and cinder-volume services. While the environment is stacking up, I am showing the Dell Enterprise Manager application referencing the storage center just configured into DevStack. In the hardware pane, observe the serial numbers of the two controllers within this storage center array. Additionally, in the storage pane, note that the Unix slash Linux slash OpenStack folder path does not currently exist. The DevStack environment is now ready. Bring up the environment in an internet browser via its IP address. Log in with the admin credentials as provided at the end of the stack up process. This is a functional DevStack installation with Cinder configured to point to a storage center array for its backend block storage. Navigate to the project pulldown, then the volumes tab. Click on the create volume button in the top right corner. In the volume name field, Type in Dell SC underscore 10G. This is an arbitrary name to reference a 10 gigabyte volume. The description field is optional. And the volume source is left in its default value of no source empty volume. In the type field, select Dell FC as was defined in the storage center schema. And in the size field, enter a value of 10. The availability zone showing Nova is left in its default value as well. And finally, click on the Create Volume button in the bottom right corner to create this new volume. The new volume will take just a moment to create. Click on the volume name to show the details of this volume. In this window, 
notice the UUID value of this new volume. Bringing back the Enterprise Manager view, notice that the Unix slash Linux slash OpenStack slash Dell FC folder has now been created, inside which there is now a new volume created and labeled with the UUID value noted previously. OpenStack or DevStack is used to orchestrate backend storage. Storage management should ideally be performed via the Horizon interface for all volume management tasks. Through this interface, volumes can also be deleted, migrated, or replays captured as shown in the Actions pull-down menu. This concludes this video on configuring OpenStack Cinder with Dell Storage Center and a basic volume creation task. Thanks for watching. For more information on Dell Storage Center products, documentation, and videos, visit dell.com/techcenter or the link below.